Good day, everybody. How are you? Today, we are going to talk about a problem in normal distribution. So I'll share my computer screen with you. <clears throat> the random variable X represents the weight in grams of a particular type of chocolate bar. It is known that X is normally distributed with a mean mu equal to 50.7 grams and sigma squared is 0.72. On the wrapper, it says that the bar weighs 50 grams. Find the proportion of bars that weigh at least 50 grams. So let me solve the part A first. Solution. The mean is 50 grams. It's a bell shaped distribution. Mu is 50. On the horizontal axis, we have X, which is the weight of the chocolate bars. The mean is uh, 50.7 grams. And sigma square, the variance is 0 0.72. So, Sigma is equal to square root of 0 0.72, which is equal to, in my calculator, second x square gives me the square root inside the square root 0 0.72, and this is 0 0.848. So, first part is asked, find the proportion of book. Bars that weigh at least at least 50 grams means lowest is 50 grams. Now 50 is slightly less than 50.7. So it will be uh, located uh, somewhere a little bit off from the away from the 50. So it will be on the left of 50. Let's presume. So we may be able to draw this as 50, slightly left of the mean, which is 50.7, and weigh at least 50 means, so this point is 50. I want this area. So basically, I want to find out what is the probability of x greater equal to 50. So I'll use my uh, TI-84 calculator. I will go press the second key, then the verse key, then I will select number two, which is normal CDF, number two, which is normal CDF, and then my lower, I'm starting from 50. My upper is a very large number on the right hand side, which I will indicate by one. Then second button, which after that I will type uh, or press the comma button. Where is the comma button? It's on top of the seven button. This will give me small capital E99. One E99 means one followed by 99 zeros. My mu is 50.7 and my sigma is 8. 0.848. So let me clean that and let me create some space for the for myself. So this is sigma is uh, the mean is uh, I correct it is fifty point seven and standard deviation is point eight four eight. And then I pest when I'm on pest, bring the cursor on pest. I have to hit enter twice in TI 84. So this is with TI 84. Enter and enter and enter twice. Remember, on pest means enter and enter twice. So second verse two, I'm starting from 50. 
My upper is 1E99. My mean is 50.7. My standard deviation is 0.848. And I pressed enter and enter one more time. So this is, uh, so probability, I'll, maybe I'll change back the ink. So probability of X greater equal to 50, that is at least 50, at least 50 is equal to 0 0.795. So that's your answer to part A. Do not quit right away. I have some suggestions and tips for you coming up soon, okay? Now we will focus on part B. Says, if the proportion found in part A is to be increased to 95%, find mu if sigma is to be unchanged. So let's uh, draw a diagram for that. So we want it. So this, uh, my new normal distribution looks like this. Again, I have X, which is weight of chocolate bars, weight of bars. And this is my, where the peak is the highest on the horizontal axis, is my mu. I do not know that. But my sigma is fixed at 0 0.848. And I want to find the mu such that this area, okay, so this is the, to the right of the 50. And this area is 0 0.95, okay? So part B, find mu if sigma remains at 0 0.848, okay? So maybe I should uh, uh, draw this carefully. So, Okay, let me draw this back. My sigma is 0 0.84. Okay, I want the area to the right of 50. So let me again draw this carefully. So I will erase that line. Let's see that line and draw it again. So, if this is 50, this is 50. I want the area to the right of 50. So, find mu if sigma remains unchanged at 0.848 and probability of x greater or equal to 50 is increased to 0 0.95, okay? So if I convert the same information to a Z diagram, the Z curve, this is a Z curve, Z curve. So at the center where the peak is the highest, this is Z equal to zero. This is the Z on the horizontal axis. And we want to find Z such that the area to the right, this area, find Z if probability of Z, uh, of uh, Z greater than Z, greater than Z is 0 0.95. The shaded area is 0 0.95. So we know the area to the left of this unknown Z. This Z is unknown. This area is 1 minus 0 0.95, which is 0 0.05.
the reason we find the area to the left of the unknown z is um, when we use ti 84 we go second verse number three which is in norm function in norm it has for an area that is the area to the left of the unknown z and that's 0 0.05 okay and uh, my um, mu is 0 my sigma is 1 okay so and then I paste and as you know in paste I enter twice and that z will work out too so on Second verse three area is point zero five because it is the area to the left of the unknown z because it's a standard normal curve mu is zero sigma is one pest enter and enter and that is that z is minus one point six four five okay so this z uh, let me change the color of the pen. This Z is this particular Z is equal to minus 1.645 such so that the area to the right of it is 0.95. Okay, now if I move my Thing. So Z equal to, sorry, Z equal to minus 1.645 and that's equal to X, which is 50 X minus mu by sigma. Now I know the Z score. I do not, I know that uh, X is uh, 50 because by one probability of x greater or equal to 50 is 0.95. I do not know mu. I know sigma is not going to change. It's 0 0.848. So in order to solve this equation, I will multiply both sides by 0 0.848. So 0 0.848 in the denominator on the right hand side will cancel with the numerator 0 0.848 because I'm multiplying by 0 0.848 on both sides. So this cancels with this. So we are left with 1.645 1. 1. times 0.848. So I have minus 1.394 is equal to 50 minus mu okay so let me move this up a little bit and then i will add mu on both sides so this side i have minus 1.394 plus mu equal to 50 okay and then i add 1.394 on both sides so Mu now becomes equal to 50 plus 1.394, which is 51.394. So this is the answer to part A. Okay, part A. Okay, so. Okay, so what does it say? It says if I change the mean to 51.394, 394 and then and keep the standard deviation same okay and then the area to the right of 50 will be equal to 0.95 so this is part one of section b okay where the standard deviation has not been changed okay so let's do now same, uh, let me move this a little bit up. Do not quit. 
Okay, please do not quit because I have a suggestion, a tip at the end. Okay, so in part C, again, probability of X, which is unknown. Uh, sorry, probability of X, which is 50. No, X greater equal to 50 is still 0 0.95. This time mu remains constant, but sigma is unknown. So what is the picture? The picture is like this. This time the mu, sorry, mu is 50 point, uh, I have a small mistake in the first part. The mu is 50.4 actually. So if I move up a little bit, mu is 50.4, okay? Sorry, mu is what we solved for in part one, B part one. So let me write this clearly. This is B part one. So I'm solving for mu in this case. So uh, this is part I. Okay, let me Okay, let me clean this up a little bit. So this is part I. Of question B. Okay. So mu has, mu has to be found out. Uh, we know the probability of x greater than or equal to 50 is 0.95. Sigma remains unchanged. Okay. How does that differ from part 2 of B? Okay. Let me go back now. Okay. So we still know probability of x greater than or equal to 50 is point. 95 mu in this case is mu has not changed as from part A is 50.4. Okay, so mu the center is mu is equal to 50.4 and probability of x greater or equal to 50. This is still 0.95. What we do not know is sigma. Okay, so probability of x greater equal to 50 with mu equal to 50.4 sigma unknown is still 0 0.95 just like before the z score corresponding z score will be equal to minus 1.645 okay so minus 1.645 is the z-score is equal to x minus mu over sigma. Now, my x is 50, my mu is 50.4, and my sigma is unknown. So, minus 1.645 is equal to 50 minus 50.4 is minus 0 0.4 divided by sigma, okay? Now, in this equation, we multiply both sides by sigma. So, one point minus 1.645 times minus 0 0.4 over sigma multiplied by sigma. So, if I move this a little bit up, you will see in this, the sigma in the denominator on the right cancel with sigma on the numerator. And you have minus 1.645 sigma is equal to minus 0 0.4. Now divide by minus 1.645 on both sides. So this cancels with this. 
So sigma is equal to 0 0.4 divided by 1.645. And that is equal to 0.4 divided by 1.645 is equal to 0 0.243. Okay, 0 0.243. So if you want to keep the mean same as in part A, which is 50.4, and you still want the probability of X greater or equal to 50, remember X is on the horizontal axis, X is the weight, X is weight of bars. Okay, and probability of X greater or equal to 50, you want to keep it at uh, 0 0.94. This, all this area, I want it to be 0 0.95. I do not want to change the mu from part A, which is 50.4, but however, I'm ready, willing to change sigma. So this 50 corresponds uh, with 0 0.05 area on the left of 50. Remember 0 0.05 area on the left of this 50. Why 0 0.05? Because the area to the right of it is 0.95. So when I convert it to Z scale, so if I convert the same information over here to a Z scale, okay, Z is equal to zero at the center. And if my Z score is minus 1.645, area to the right will be equal to 0 0.95. And this area will be 0 0.05. So knowing Z score is minus 1.645 corresponds to X equal to 50. I write Z is equal to X minus mu by sigma. X is 50. Mu is 50.4. Sigma is unknown. Then solve for sigma and it becomes 0.243. What was the hint or the tip I use, can give? You can go, you can use the calculator uh, directly to solve for x ti 84 in part a you ask me how so and i will show it to you this is my tip of the day okay so let's see Actually, you have to use uh, the, the standard normal curve and find the value of z to the left of it is 0 0.05 and to the right of it is 0.95. Had I not known x, which is not true in part, in part b number one and part b number two, in both cases we know x, okay, which is greater or equal to 50. Okay, so we have to find the z-score corresponding to that x equal to 50, which is minus 1.645. Remember, on the left of 50 is 0 0.05, on the right of 50 is 0 0.95. Corresponding z-score is minus 1.645. We have to use that information in part 1 of part B, actually. Okay, A question B, part 1. We have to solve for mu. We keep the standard deviation unchanged and mu has to be moved to 51.394. In part two of question B, same information. Z score is still one po minus 1.645 so that the area to the left of it is 0 0.05. Area to the right is 0 0.95. Here, we do not know the sigma. Mu is remaining constant as part A, which is 50.4. The sigma works out to uh, let me see what does it work out to. It works out to 0.243. So my hint or tip is to use a standard normal curve or in norm function to find the value of the z on the z, z curve, standard normal curve, so that the area to the left of this z that we calculated minus 1.645 is 0 0.05 and area to the right is 0 0.95. We will utilize that Z value to solve both parts one and two of question B. Okay, that is my suggestion. So I will stop here today. If you have any question or comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please share with your friends. 
I'll appreciate that. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. Take care. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Take care. See you next time.